Yankees fall low. How low can you go? Why would they not? They've never uh, had any issues. It just looks like Mr. Thursday Night is uh, even more full of himself than uh, than usual. Yeah. I think you know uh, they they would benefit from having a manager. Telling them what to do. They would benefit from having a brain. <laughs> Once in a while, I get a good one in. Nice yeah, side. Laugh. I needed that tonight. Oh, I need it too. Bandino Jr., a phenomenal uh, second generation wrestler. Joey G, one of the best talents you'll see out there. Absolutely. As is Frankie Flo, and that's why they are the tag team champions. And have been for a while now. Tag team of the year 2012. Tag team of the year 2012, as well as, I, I think. I think there was a Latin magazine that named them the uh, the tag team of Latin America. Of all Latin all America. All Latin America. So they represent all the Latin countries. Every one of them. Wow. Including the Bronx. Speaking of the Bronx, we had some great action at the Bronx at uh, St. Francis Xavier. You saw Big Rikishi lay it on the heavyweight champion. Coming up. Coming Big up. Big matchup. Big matchup coming up Saturday, April 13th. Andrew Anderson against Frankie Flo and Rikishi and Jumbo Joe Guns. And that match, Joey G, we're going to see that. And fans, you go to our website, ecbw1.com. Big tackle there by Berwick. Drop down, leapfrog. Nice hip toss. Nice arm. Nice drop kick right in the mush. And here comes Mr. Thursday night to see if he can fare any better. Beverly Berwick uh, back on the ring apron. And Thursday night is calling out Frankie Flo. Well, let's, this should be interesting. Frankie he's, Flo's gonna accommodate him. He's, he's calling out Frankie Flo. And, uh, I don't think you want to go pose for pose with Frankie Flo. You know, I, I think somebody needs to talk to Berwick and, uh, and Thursday night, because they're here and they got a tag team championship match. You'd think they would take it a little bit more They're goofing serious. around. Yeah. A couple of idiots. Oh. Now those are real arms. Not that Thursday night's in bad shape, but you no, uh, Thursday night's in guns Thur on Frankie. Flo. Thursday night's in great condition, but you know what, Frankie Flo, talk about being in shape, competitive bodybuilder, Mr. Latin, three years in a row, and that three years in a row is hard to do, Gino. He stays in amazing shape year in and year out. It was hard for me to be Mr. Joey G three years in a row. I think my personality changes. But he was Mr. Latin. Latin America, three Latin years America. in a row. Hopper uh -oh. creeping there. What oh. time they gotta be back? <laughs> nice side headlock here, and you talk about the strength of Frankie Flo having that side headlock. Big tackle. And you're right, you know, Mr. Thursday Night's not a small guy. Not you don't a small wanna, guy, but... Uh, you don't want to match power with Frankie Flo. You don't want to match power with Frankie Flo. You, and, and again, Mr. Thursday Night asked for Frankie Flo to enter the ring. Well, sometimes you know the old saying, be careful what you ask for, Joey. You just may get it. And Frankie Flo's enjoying it, isn't he? He's having a good time out there. You know, we saw last week, Joey G, you called out, uh, got in the ring for an interview with the heavyweight champion Andrew Anderson and Doug DeVito, and they didn't show up. Didn't show up. How disrespectful! Uh, uh, you know, to you, not only to you and the fans, but the company of East Coast Professional Wrestling, to not bring his fat carcass out here, along with that half pint, half wit manager Doug DeVito. How dare they slap the face of East Coast Professional Wrestling? Uh, you know, they're they're feeling their oats. I've noticed it over the last several weeks. 
Uh, DeVito's stealing a lot of oats. Well, you know, you would put him in his place when you beat them, when Team Caruso beat Team DeVito, and uh, DeVito had his tail between his legs for a long time, but guess what? That, that tail is sticking straight up now. Like usual. You know, we talk about this, and obviously the tag team matchup here is is phenomenal, but we got the TV title on the line right after this. And Mo, Mo Sexton, Sam Shields are gonna try to get the belt away from Crazy Ivan in a three-way, Joey J. And these three are no stranger to each other. Well, vertical standing suplex. Oh, wow. All the blood rush to the head of uh, Mr. Thursday Night. Well, and Berwick in there to break it up. Berwick, nice move by Berwick. A little bit of a chicken, though. He, he kind of yeah, you notice does that? the menest. <laughs> Remind me of somebody from England. You should be uh, flipping batteries at Radio Shack. What's going to happen here? Big job. And it looks like Bandito and Frankie Flo are having a good time there. They're, oh, enjoying, they're, enjoy, they, they're enjoying working over Thursday night. They don't like and, him at all. And I enjoy it too. I don't like him either. I don't like him either. I don't think the fans like him. He probably doesn't even like himself. Big Beal. Doesn't he have a face like a parakeet? More like a, a ferret that's constipated. Now Beverly Berwick's in there, and um, I don't think you want to lock up with Frankie Flo. Why would you do this? These guys don't get it. They just don't get it. That's Doesn't right. make sense. I, I, I don't understand it. You know, and Mr. Thursday Night is the ring veteran. You think that he would? Uh, he would know better. He would know better. He would have a strategy for this match. I don't think there was a strategy coming out of the curtain. No. Nice leg lariat by Bandito Jr. Bandito, Bandito Jr. joined with the referee. Oh, I rake. Well, that's one way to get the attention. And now, now putting the boots to Bandito Jr. Mr. Thursday night working over Bandito Jr. Mikey White, uh, I thought he was going to count him out, disqualify him, but uh, Thursday night gave it up before he was able to do so. Just barely. Nice buckle there. Bandito's back is uh, it's pretty sore right now. Uh, Joey G, you know, when fans want to know about upcoming events, go to the website ecpw1.com for all upcoming events and all everything that's ECPW. Gino, I happened to be up at the ECPW Wrestling School Monday night, and it was packed. Well, you know, there's a lot of new young talent looking uh, to make their way in, into uh, ECPW, and they're working hard, doing everything the right way. Yeah. Well, not only that, I, I saw some new valets up there, and it was, it's encouraging to see that. And they, they want to be trained by the best, so they come to the best, ECPW. Wrestlers, managers, valets, referees, ring announcers, even the commentators. Everybody but security. And right now, Bandito Jr.'s got to try to make a tag to Frankie Flo. Not quite dingy, quite all of that side slam. Oh, Mikey White calling it, calling it right down the middle. Well, I, I tell you what, it looked like Bandito uh, and uh, and Frankie Flo had this match well on their hand, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, won a legal maneuver, and it turns there it around. Is. It turns around. Right now, Bandito needs to make a tag to Frankie Flo, otherwise, they're in jeopardy of losing their belts. 
And I didn't think I was going to be able to say that tonight. Oh, I didn't think so either, but uh, Thursday night and Berwick are working a little bit better together. Uh, maybe they had to work out the kinks and get uh, get that well oil machine going, Joey. Oh, he knocked him right in the mush. Oh, I like that one. He's got to make a tag now. That's his opportunity. That's his opening. He needs to get Frankie Flo in there. Oh, boy, he caught him in the back of the head Thursday night. Looks like he's... Uh... Took some shot. Oh, man. What a shot. Thursday night, I don't think he's going to be able to make that tag. Well, he needs to, and, and, and more importantly, is. Bandito Jr. needs to make a tag. Oh, here comes Berwick. Oh, Frankie Flo. How oh, big shoulder big tackle. tackle. Another big tackle. The Puerto Rican powerhouse is laying him in. Ow. Big splash. Well, I guess... Nothing but shoulders, all he should be playing for the Giants. Uh oh, broke well, it up there. Three. I thought that was three. Oh, uh, Mr. Thursday night. Oh, a double drop. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you like it when Thursday night gets back. I around. like it, yeah, I don't like him. I don't like him. I agree with these fans. I think he's the biggest idiot here in ECPW. That's saying something. <laughs> Big kick. Uh-oh, here we go. Slam. Ow. What's Bandito setting him up for? Stomp to the midsection. Oh, that boy. may be it. And they got him. Fans, put that one in the books. 